People's closure, idea of closure is a little different. But for me, this is a lot of closure. Nearly five decades after a mysterious Connecticut case went cold, finally a breakthrough. On August 16th, 1975, an unidentified woman's body was found bound, gagged, and wrapped in a tarp, then dropped in East Haven on Frontage Road. Her body was found behind what is now a CarMax. Her identity was a mystery, but now authorities know who she is. We can positively identify the victim of this crime as Patricia Melody Newsom. According to WTNH, Newsom was born in Idaho in June 1957. In the late 1960s, she moved to the East Coast with her family. In 1972, police said Newsom went to a boarding school near Monticello, New York, but ran away with a friend in hopes of reaching Maine. The friends likely hitchhiked, but police said it's unclear if they ever made it. Investigators still want to talk to that friend 48 years later. In all that time, cops never stopped searching for Patricia, hitting some rough spots along the way, like when they tried to exhume her body. After locating the casket and exhuming the body, we were shocked and devastated to find out that we found the wrong body. The body in the casket was in fact a male. In July 2022, investigators located Patricia buried in Hamden State Street Cemetery among dozens of unmarked graves, some dating back centuries. What we found that day was even more shocking. We discovered about five times the amount of caskets that originally anticipated. Once found, Patricia's DNA was sent to a database. Last week, her family got the relief they'd been waiting all this time for. Don't let people tell you to stop. They never stopped. I never stop. Don't stop. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.